Scheduler Operation To operate Scheduler, navigate from the top bar through Operation and Scheduler. Then select from the building hierarchy the required plant you want to operate the Scheduler for. And select the Scheduler. To be able to operate it, it's first of all required to go into the edit mode by clicking edit on the top left side. Then, click on options to select the schedule default value by choosing between off and on from the drop-down menu. It's very easy to adjust the time settings for a defined scheduler by just moving the point icon up and down. To insert a new additional entry, just click at any point along the line. We can add, edit, or delete the entries. Once completed, it's required to save the changes by clicking on the top right command. It is also possible to define exceptions for this scheduler program by using the related menu on the top left side. To add a new exception, click to add and then choose the type. In our example, we select date range. We define now the start and the end of the exception validity by manually typing the dates or by using the calendar function. Save then the settings. The exception range is now easily spotted into the scheduler calendar since the range is colored from the start to the end. Now, it's required to define the scheduler program for this exception. So, select it and click on the time area on right side to add a new entry, similarly to what we did before. Then, save the changes. To delete an exception, go to List View, select the exception and click on Delete. Confirm the action. It's also possible to copy a scheduler program from one day to another day. To do that, click on Copy from the right side of the work area and follow the simple instructions that will appear on the left side. So, select the day you want to copy, go on by clicking Next, and select the days on which you want to repeat the copied scheduler program. Confirm by clicking on Paste. 